well, since we're talking about the brain, I mean, another area that I am very interested in, um, much like your daughter, who is also a PhD, yes. and she's also a registered right. dietitian as well, right. um, Christina Jackson. Dr. Christina Jackson, is the role of omega-3 in development. And, yeah. um, you know, you guys at OmegaQuant are doing some really interesting, getting gathering some interesting data because you are looking at, and maybe you can talk about this, how you're looking at the omega-3 index in pregnant women mm -hmm. and in lactating women. Yeah, right. Um, I think one of the one of the, the high points in omega-3 research has been a, a Cochrane report from a couple of years ago reporting that looking at 70 trials in pregnant women given omega-3 that the giving omega-3 reduces risk for premature birth especially early premature birth, before 34 weeks. Um, yeah. Premature birth, garden variety is before 37. Um, but the effect on, on reducing uh, uh, risk for early premature, which is the most challenging one for the baby and the mother and the NICU and the entire financial system. Um, reducing risk for that. In fact, in this meta-analysis, uh, Middleton was the first author on this meta-analysis. They said, at this point, no more research should be done on this. The question is settled. And then two months later, the biggest study done in the field came out ne negative. <laughs> so, what do you, which is the ORP trial from Australia. But in that trial, unfortunately, there was uh, apparently compliance with DHA supplementation was not very good. So the change in omega-3 index was not much in that big trial. So they didn't see a benefit. It could be because women weren't taking it. That's a problem. Um, but we, we do have a, a test we developed at Omega Quant called the um, RBC, Mother's DHA test, RBC DHA test. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a test for pregnant women to measure their red cell DHA levels. And we think being over 5% is where you wanna be. I mean, there's no guarantees you're gonna prevent preterm birth, there's so many factors that go into why a woman delivers early. But if, from the risk factors we can control, if you're, if you're down at 3%, that's the high risk group for preterm birth, over 5% is, is not a problem. So it's something a, a, a uh, obstetrician could easily measure, dried blood spot test, uh, could measure that and counsel a pregnant woman, to, you're, you're too low, take more, you know, you're already supposed to take DHA. People know it, but if you have a blood test that says you're low, you might actually do it. Right. It's the compliance issue, I think. So that's an important area of research now to try to figure out how to, how to operationalize that, get that in the clinic, get the use of an omega-3 test in pregnancy in the clinic. It ha this 5% this omega-3 index, um, you're talking about it in the context of potentially um, helping prevent premature birth. What about development? Brain development. Brain development. Yeah, I mean that's that's the other side of it. We're looking at, at mom and, and the delivery issue with premature birth. But yeah, there's plenty of evidence that having a higher omega three level in mom. I mean it's mixed evidence as is everything. Um, if you you look several years down the road, kids do are doing better. Some studies, yeah, they're not doing worse. They're never doing worse. They're either doing no different or better. Right. Yeah. Um, and so, there's a long-term benefit probably to the kid for having higher omega-3 in utero. Mm -hmm. I think there was a recent study that was published um, where it was a randomized trial when women were given like 200 milligrams of DHA or a thousand. Right. It's correct? Kudos. It's a study from uh, no, Adore was the name of it from Kansas University. Susan Carlson. They published it, and they, and they found a, a benefit in preterm birth. Uh, but they also found benefits and other adverse outcomes, uh, reduced risk for adverse outcomes uh, in the delivery. They aren't, at this point, they haven't looked at mental outcomes in the baby. This is all about birth. Okay. All right. So, so I'm thinking of other studies. But, yes, yeah, so um, a, a very uh, important, I think, 